Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Good morning, everybody. We'll get into this PPP long video, man. Man, just trying to wait to this little two minute mark. Hit that like button, share, subscribe to my channel, man. Monks TV with apostrophe S. Monks with apostrophe S. Make sure you put that apostrophe S in there, man. I'm finna get to this this quick PPP long video, man. I'm just trying to wait till this uh, two minute mark go by. Make me some coffee, man. That coffee will help motivate me, bro. Give me some coffee. My one of my daughters said it uh, helped me talk. <laughs> but I finna get to this 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 uh, PPP long video, man. Let me go make this coffee. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, man. Just had to make me some of this coffee, man. Talk about this uh, PPP loan. Man, that loan, man. <laughs> when you look into it, man, when the government giving you $10,000 or more, man, 20, some people got qualified for a million dollars, bro. You should have known that was a trap. It's just like the, I've been telling y'all. It's just like that child support stuff, man. You, you actually think it, it's a trap because, and, and I understand how some of y'all need the money, man, because if they would have gave us more money with them stimulus, it probably could have um, avoided all this this stuff. Them stimulus checks should have been ten or fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, man. Not saying that 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 it was gonna stop it all, but it could have helped a lot of problem. A lot of people probably would not even did that, man. But anytime when you don't, when the government give you something that they don't investigate, it's just like the child support. Every child support case is different. The PPP loan is the same way. When you don't run, when you don't, um, you, you don't take no backgrounds on nothing, you just giving out money. I really blame the government for not investigating and checking and make sure people really got um, a real business or not. I'm not glorifying that. I understand there's a lot of people out there struggling, people that's working. Some people working, man, two and two, two. Two and three jobs, man, still struggling. Because cost of living is so high, food study going up. Then you wonder why these people out here trying to scam and get the bag. But the part that I don't understand about this here is why y'all, ain't nobody talking about Donald Trump, all these people out here that got unpaid taxes. Y'all come after the people who got the PPP loan real fast, but. You ain't talking about all these people who don't uh, do their taxes and stuff, who owe the government millions of dollars, man. Thousands, millions of dollars. They pick and choose who they want to lock up, man. So you, gave and all, you give out all these loans, now the feds come, come get them real quick. I, I don't understand that. But y'all then y'all were giving them out, but then wasn't doing no investigating to make sure that these people had a real uh uh business or not. Like I said, just like the child support, every case is different. I'm talking from experience. All of my kids was almost grown. I'm paying child support on, on grown kids that I that that's grown. When damn near grown with not no investigation being done into it. Every every case is different, man. They make it so easy to put child support on somebody, just like the PPP loan. They made it so easy for you to apply for it and just act like you got got a business and get approved for this type of money. 
it's part of the government fault. I don't care what y'all say. That that's what I believe, and I'm gonna stand on it. I stand on what I believe. It's, it's part of their fault. It's fifty fifty. It's part of the present fault, and it's part of the government fault. But it's funny how y'all come and bring in the FBI, the feds. I, I I heard that they was knocking people door in. I don't know if that was true or not. Um, but look at all these people, these high top people who owe the government already for not filing their taxes on millions of dollars, like I said. That's what I was telling y'all before, how we live in a backwards-ass world. And that flag do not apply to us, black people. They pick and choose who they want to arrest. Some people ain't going to even get arrested for it. And, and they just going to feel like they, they got slid, slid out the crack. Some people ain't going to even get arrested for it. And a lot of them ain't going to get arrested for it. The ones that got the real big bags. I feel like they mostly targeting the ones that's got ten and twenty thousand dollar bags, allegedly. Because at the end of the day, I don't believe nothing the government say. They don't. They don't trick this so many times, man. I don't believe nothing they say, man. Nothing they say. The wages ain't going up. You you hear them talking about it, but that done kind of faded out. The wages ain't going up. Food and stuff going up. Food in the restaurant going up. Bills going up. Everything going up, but the wages and the rich and rich and study getting rich and the poor study getting poor. And then you then at the end of the day, you wonder why people do stuff the way do stuff like that to try to survive. I'm not saying that it's right, but hell, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Because like I said, them stimulus checks should have been more than what they was. They should have been leased by, leased by $15,000, $20,000 per household. Hell, people pay more than that in in taxes. People pay billions and trillions of dollars in on tax. It's really they own money, all the people who pay taxes. Uh, it's, listen, just the people who work is not the only people that pay taxes in, man. You pay taxes when you go buy a piece of bubble gum or soda water. Whatever you purchase, you pay taxes on it. When you getting your tags and shit, it's taxes on everything, man. Except for water and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But my, everything is taxable. Really, they might as well go and add eight cents on a bottle of water, man. Everything going sky high. Then they wonder why the crime rate is so high, bro. I'm not glorifying that, but that's part. If everybody was doing good... The crime, it wouldn't cut the crime rate out, but it'll lower the crime rate real, real low. I feel like on an average job, especially like a major chain like Walmart, they ought to be paying $15 or better. Horse pillars should be paying a lot more money, man. Them the kind of, man, they get business in and out, in and out. It's like a jail dough. Y'all don't hear when they say a revolving dough. A jailhouse is a revolving dough. That's just like the hospitals. Because people are always getting sick. Walmart. People got to eat. Make millions every day, man. And you can't tell me that the government can't provide. Hey, really, at the end of the day, ain't, should nobody be living in poverty? Nobody should be struggling. The, the riches, the, the uh, all these rich people out here. You got one celebrity man worth a hundred million dollars. This just talking about just. I'm just using one celebrity because we know it's millions of black people who got money.
They might not be no multi multi millionaire, but it's a lot of black people got money. You take one celebrity who got a hundred, man, you can pull a lot of people out of poverty if you break that money down because they say it's only forty seven million black Americans in the United States of America. That's why I say ain't no reason why when you got all these people like Jay Z and Beyonce and all these people who got all these this money, it's no reason why black people should be in poverty. Mugs worth five hundred million dollars, a billion dollars. Michael Jordan, billion dollars. Man, he can take he can take forty seven billion dollars and give it to every black home and that'll pull all the black people out of the poverty. Damn what they do with it. Just say that you done did your job to help the black community. Ain't no ain't, ain't man, that's what I'm saying. That's why I know that a lot of these people ain't got no control of their money. And it's a lot of folks can pull black people out of poverty, man. All these celebrities, you go pay uh half a million dollars for a motherfucking watch. You got people out here hungry. You go buy a little air conditioning shit. That's the kind of shit I can do. I can do that. You ain't. You're not really doing nothing. Going buying no bicycles and shit like that for Christmas. Little shit. Pull your people out of poverty. But a lot of them, a lot of, lot of black folks got that in their mind. Well, shit, I done made, made mine, nigga, get his. See, that's the kind of mindset that we in, bro. They don't, they don't want to help. They'll help with a little something and think they done did something. That's what a normal motherfucker can do. That just, just a thousand error can go buy a, a bunch of bikes. You can spend... Five thousand dollars on it, and then damn near buy a five thousand dollar bike at a uh, hundred dollars a piece. You know how I many bicycles that that'll give to to some kids? Man, that that'll help a lot of kids. So you got a you got all these multimillionaires, and it's only forty seven million black people in America. That's what they say. And you got people worth five hundred million dollars. Seven hundred million. You you can't tell me you can take forty seven million dollars and give every black home a million dollars and pull them out of poverty. That's the kind of stuff from here. But you know we glorify these celebrities. Want to be like them. Want to want to take up man. You you say something about some of these major celebrities and and some of y'all don't even uh take up for your mama and your kids like you do some of these celebrities. So at the end of the day, that PPP loan, like I was saying, is part of the government fault. Yeah, we all know right from wrong, but why do y'all make it so easy for a mug to say, say they got a business and get approved for the loan? Now you want to come get them. Why y'all ain't taking on part of y'all responsibility? It ain't got. It ain't even got nothing to do with no motherfucker working or not. Cause hey, people work every day and do do uh, commit crimes and steal from from sometimes from the job that they working on, laundering money from it, taking money that's supposed to be going to a to a to a date to the business account. You taking it and putting it in your personal account. So it ain't got all that old, old ass shit y'all talking about. Motherfucker don't work. He gonna steal. That shit is for the birds, bro. You should have been done stop talking like that. All that old shit y'all need to get that out of your mind, man. People work every day, go to work faithfully and still commit crime and do wrong. So it ain't got nothing to do with that. It's working people that work on two jobs is in poverty and can't even hardly barely making it, man. Then you got these race soldiers running around here just writing tickets just because. And nine nine and nine nine times out of ten, they write throw tickets on you because they can, because they know at the end of the day, most people ain't going to go up there and try to fight them.
It's like your word against theirs. They can just say that you ain't wearing a seatbelt and you can say, I did have my seatbelt on. Well, they'll say, I'm still going to write you a ticket. See, that's the kind of shit there that I be talking about, man. That go right on, right, go right here in along, I mean, in Long Three, Texas. Right here in Long Three, Texas. They don't want to argue with you so they can just throw a ticket on you just because. Man, that's what I'll be talking about, man. And you study piling bills. And this man, he, he can be working two jobs and still struggling. So, hell, at the end of the day, how are you going to pay these tickets? And then if he got child support, he paying child support. I don't get it, man. I'm just saying, man. You studied st stacking bills on a poor man. You don't never know what you're going to do when you're in a desperate situation. No, nobody want to do wrong, but you can't say what you gonna, what you ain't, what you ain't going to do. And a lot of y'all out there talking about these people with these PPP loans, some of y'all wish y'all could have did it. And want to put down, oh, that's what they get. That's what they blah, 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 blah. But a lot of y'all done did other shit, fraud ass shit. It, it, um, it might not be uh, uh, like the PPPP loan, but at the end of the day, if y'all Christians know y'all Bible, every sin is the same sin. No, it ain't no such thing as no small or no big sin. Wrong is wrong. No matter if you go out there and steal that money out of somebody's wallet or their purse, or you do the loan. It's all the same at the end of the day. That's another thing. We're always trying to criticize what another motherfucker done did. Like, you ain't did shit. Talk about the shit you done did. Some of them just get, did it because, hell, it was open opportunity. Like I said, it's, it's part of the government fault for not investigating to make sure these people got a business or not. We always want to point fingers at each other. It's bad enough the white man already doing it. And they, and, 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 and man, that PPP loan, man, you know how many people out there probably done, done did worse than that and still doing that. Some of these white people and black people So, it really ain't no big thing to me. Because it's people around here, like I said, you got to be a certain motherfucker who can get away with shit. Motherfuckers out there owe millions of dollars in taxpayer dollars, but you don't hear these people saying the feds finna come get them. Make that make sense. People trafficking kids. You don't hear nothing about it. All these high people up here, all these high profile white people, they doing all kinds of shit. But part of this shit with this PPP loan is a distraction. It is, man, to keep get your mind off of other shit. See, y'all ain't talking about all them the shit that you used to see on the news and now all of a sudden it done disappeared. They shining all the light on the people who got these little loans and stuff. Man, I tell you, I never thought in the day I'd be I'd be living in a world that's that's so full of hate. And use Christianity to psych us out. They did that way back in the day and they doing it now. Some of these motherfuckers don't even know what who God is, man. Think they going to heaven, they ain't going no they ain't, a lot of them ain't even gonna go no heaven. And I ain't even being judgmental. I'm just talking some real shit. Cause you you play with the Bible. Most of y'all play with the Bible too much. Be the main ones out there judging. Just like on this PPP long thing, judging. 
Like you ain't never did nothing wrong. But that's a nigga for your ass, man. Niggas and flies. Niggas and flies. Niggas and motherfucking flies. <laughs> well, y'all, some there. Y'all can be worse than the white people sometimes. I always want to point the finger at another nigga, man. But I just want to make this little short video, man. Like it. Share. Subscribe. Get them likes buttons up, man. Monks TV, man. Trying to get this word out here, man. But like I was saying, some of us black people can be worse. Worse than the white folk, man. Can't stand to see another nigga with something, man. You want to be jealous. And then some of y'all black people... Don't want to see you with nothing. They can know the secret and not even tell you. They can, they can show you a way how to get out of your rug. But some black people... Hold on, damn, somebody calling. Show you how to get out of your rug and they won't even show you. Our own people. It's fucked up, man. I got so much commissary. I mean commissary. I got so much commentary to uh, come with. Man, it's a shame. But uh, my next video going to be, I'm going to drop that mug tomorrow, man. It's going to be about uh, a green. Mug don't, motherfucker don't want to be on your team unless you agreeing with them. Damn, quit calling. Unless you agreeing to them. But I got to get that out there, man. Motherfucker don't want, want you to be on their team unless you agreeing with them. That's some fucked up shit there, man. They want you agreeing to them like, I ain't, like ain't nobody else got their opinion about stuff. But hey, I'm gonna get with y'all, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this video. I'm out. <clears throat>